Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create a stack chart report in SSRS. A stack bar chart displays all series stacked in a single bar for each category. So that's what stacked report is. We will learn how to create a data set. We will extract the data from SQL Server table and then we will create this stack chart report in SSRS. We will play some with some of the properties such as displaying the data on those bars and uh, uh, maybe we will change some colors so let's go to the SSMS and take a look on data set uh, what we are going to use so here is the table that is called total sale and I'm going to use that one for my report now here you see I have region country state and city and uh, some other information such as product name item sold item price uh, and sold date what I'm gonna do I'm going to use uh, the region as my category and then uh, I will be using uh, countries uh, as uh, my series. Uh. So that's how we will do and we will uh, take the item sold uh, as our values. Uh. So let's go ahead and uh, get the query and uh, create the report. Uh, if you see the query, I have, I'm getting everything. So one pra good practice, uh, do not get the things uh, that you don't need. So in this case, uh, we need item sold, that's what we need. And uh, we need uh, only the country and region. So I'm gonna get the, these fields. Rest I'm, I have removed from the select query. Now we are good. Let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. If you have a project already created or opened, you can go ahead and create your report. If not, you can go to the new and create a new project. And in this case, I have already opened one. So I'm gonna use that. Under the shared data source, uh, create a shared data source if you don't have any and uh, if uh, you have already, it means you can use uh, that one if you are extracting data from that uh, database. Uh, so in my case, uh, I am selecting the database from, uh, data from this uh, server and uh, the database name is uh, sales uh, so, and my table is in the sales. It's a good practice if you are creating multiple reports uh, from the same database. Uh, go ahead and create the shared data source click on the reports go to the add button new item and select the report item give the name so let's call this one stacked chart report once we add that it will create empty report so it's creating that one here on the data set tab we have to make a reference to the shared data source right click add data source and give this name let's call this one ds sales sorry underscore sales and now we are going to use the share data source reference and that's sales hit ok we are all good data set is a result set returned by your sql query that can be select simple select coming from table view or function and it can be store procedure so add data set and here we have to provide the name so I'm gonna call this one D set sales now this is going to be embedded so select this part and select the data source and paste your query we are all set here hit OK now go to the design surface and right click here insert and then here you have option to insert the chart so select that one and on the columns here there are different types of uh, uh, charts available to us uh, the very first one is column and uh, then if you hover your mouse uh, to the next uh, chart uh, from the column uh, you see stacked column chart uh, so this is what we are going to use uh, so select on that, uh, that one and click OK and just uh, move your chart a little bit in the middle and make it a little bigger so we can see the things clear we are all good here now if you double click here this uh, chart data uh, window will uh, appear it is asking us provide the values uh, that we want to show on the uh, on right here so we want to let's say item sold uh, these are the values we want to have it so these bars uh, the length of these bars or height of these bars will be depending upon the these uh, values uh, so that's what it is next uh, we have uh, categories uh, so categories are uh, the bottom ones uh, that you see a b c d and uh, here what you want to display let's say in this case uh, if i select uh, item sold 
and uh, if you see that uh, now we have everything uh, as a as a blue and the categories we don't see anything uh, but here we see item uh, sold uh, and next part let's select the category so in category you can click here or here doesn't matter the ones to select the region and that's what we want to show so this is good and uh, now we can go ahead and preview our report so if you see the sum of those uh, items sold will be displayed for each of the region it's coming back my computer is a little slow because I have opened a lot of uh, reports so, so I hope it will not uh, stuck it's loading it is not a lot of data but uh, as I have opened a lot of things that's why I'm seeing something like that and uh, here you see your category Asia Europe North America and uh, here are the values uh, so you can see that uh, from 0 to 20 and if you take the sum of those item sold here this is what it is uh, showing up uh, so for North America let's say we have 5 uh, and uh, this is a uh, 10 10 items sold so if we go back to the chart uh, and North America we have more than 10 actually so let me see here we have a 5 plus uh, 8 10 11 sorry so we have 11 that's what it is uh, displaying here and uh, right now we don't have this is called column chart because uh, we are seeing the things in one um, one of the column the things are not stacked on uh, this uh, bar so when we say stacked uh, it means uh, these bar has to be divided uh, in uh, uh, further with the series uh. so let's click here now we are going to add make make this chart as a stacked uh, chart so in series uh, we are going to add the countries uh. so once we add countries you see that uh, now the countries will be stacked on each other for each of the region uh. so that's why it's called stacked uh. now let's go ahead and preview the report and in this case uh, we can see in asia we have uh, uh, pakistan and uh, india and these are the color for Pakistan is gray and India is kind of blue so you can see that uh, these two countries the values are displays for Asia and then we have Europe and Europe we have France and Germany the values are stacked for these countries and uh, uh, orange is for France and for Germany is uh, red so that's uh, how our stack chart will look like and for you North America we have dark uh, um, blue color for north america and uh, there is only one country usa that's why you don't see multiple colors in uh, this bar and uh, let me go back uh, and uh, do one more thing you can expand this one you can play with the properties uh, if let's say you will go to the uh, let, let's first uh, display the actual values on these uh, bars so click on here and say show data labels this is going to show the actual values uh, for each of those uh, countries uh, so let's uh, preview the report now and uh, you can see that for Pakistan we have a uh, uh, value 3 for uh, India we have 7 and we have a uh, 2 for uh, uh, Germany and uh, 17 for France and 11 for North America so that's how you will uh, take a look uh, and here in the X, uh, X axis uh, you can go ahead and change it maybe we're gonna call this a region and uh, you can make this one once you have this you can play and there are properties you can make it bold you can make it italic and whatever the things you maybe want to change the color that's fine you can have it on the Y axis uh, we have the values uh, so these are the numbers uh, and that's how we can tell item sold uh, so we can also change this one I'm gonna call this one item sold and uh, we can also go ahead and uh, make this bold or italic whatever we like and if we want to do underline we can do it on the chart title uh, we can uh, play with this one uh, and uh, change the chart title let's call this one sale chart and preview sorry <clears throat> here we can see this chart uh, looks good and also we can play with this uh, series uh, and instead of uh, displaying it here we can display on different points uh, so if you want to go ahead and click here on the series uh, and uh, legend properties you can go and change these uh, properties uh, so let's go back I hope it is bringing this one so you can play with this one uh, and uh, if you will uh, move this one uh, um, in this circle you can change the position uh, so if I want to go something like this I can do it and if I want to change the fonts I can change the fonts 
and uh, I can do different things uh, in this one also if I would like to change the color background colors and all that I can click on the chart go chart properties fill if you want to make instead of white uh, let's say we want to do um, some yellow you can do it you have uh, uh, options uh, to play with this one and uh, gradient or pattern so you can have different patterns uh, and you can change those ones uh, and that's how you will make your charts uh, beautiful but the main goal was uh, okay these are the categories on your x-axis and uh, then you have the values on the y-axis and the series will be stacked for, uh, e for, for on each other for each of those uh, region or category uh, category so for each of the category your series are going to be stacked on each other that's how our stacked chart look like the next video is uh, going to be a little uh, detailed video on this one where if you see here we have the values for each of the country here and uh, what we want to do we want to show the total for each of the bar so we want to show the values for each of the region and this is going to be a little tricky video we, uh, but i'm going to make that real quick so let's uh, uh, finish this one and I will see you in that video.